Ladies and gentlemen, the season 9 beginning is going to be absolutely crazy. Within the most recent patch coming into Fortnite, which brought us the Avengers Endgame limited time mode, the very, very awesome Black Widow skin, and a whole bunch of other really awesome stuff has also brought in some incredible, incredible leaks and in gameplay footage of what is actually going to be happening with the Fortnite map, how season 9 is going to start, and how exactly, you know, the season 9 is going to look. So you guys definitely are going to want to stay through to the end of today video. If you guys think you enjoy, be sure to smash thumbs up on it, hit that subscribe button, plus turn those notifications, and comment down below for those of you guys that do those three steps. I'm always hooking up you guys down in the pinned comment in the comment section below with some free gift card codes just because I know you guys are going to want to be able to get all the skins in the item shop. If you guys haven't already put in support or creator code Chuck the CG in the item shop and you guys happen to be buying anything, I really, really would appreciate it. And make sure you guys could definitely go tweet me a picture of it over on Twitter to be able to get a shout out here in my future videos. Well, that being said, let's not waste any more time because we have a load of stuff to talk about here about season nine how it's gonna start how the volcano is gonna play into it there is a ton a ton of leaked footage that i gotta show you guys so coming in right off the bat here we're gonna talk a little bit about fortnite just that you know what is going to happen with season eight because we know we're supposed to be getting our in-game event here rather soon i mean we're closing down to the you know the last little bit of the season we did get some overtime challenges that are leaked we're gonna be getting those here again and we have a lot of stuff that's gonna be happening with the season itself and and up until this point, we haven't really had much of an idea what the map is going to look like or really what the event is going to be. But as of right now, I've, there's been a ton of ton of leaks over on Twitter and I want to be able to go over a bunch of that stuff with you guys. So we have to start here right with, you know, what is in the very background of your main screen on Fortnite, which is going to be the volcano. The volcano was one of the biggest additions to the Fortnite map in quite a while and is actually going to be playing a large part into how the map is going to be shaped for season nine or even if we will be on the same map at all. What I mean by that is we need to hop into it because there's a leaker on Twitter by the name of Fort Tory. He's been an awesome guy in terms of leaking stuff. He's gonna be providing us with a ton of leaks in this video. So basically he's actually done a lot of data mining, including putting up videos onto Twitter. And I wanna share some of these here with you guys because this, you know, just starting right off the volcano, there is going to be a volcano event. He is basically almost all but confirmed this with all the stuff that's gonna be happening. And we will be losing some of us, uh, our favorite locations to be able to drop out to within Fortnite. And I am incredibly, incredibly sad. As you guys have been able to see by the images or the videos on screen, this is basically what the volcano is going to look like. And it does look a little bit glitchy, but you guys should be able to expect a volcano, gi a gigantic eruption that is going to come out of it. I'm not sure what's going to happen with the side since it's technically open over there and lava is coming out the side. But you know, anyways, there's going to be a lot of lava and stuff that's going to come out, a lot of smoke, and it's actually going to be shooting probably molten lava rocks, which is going to destroy quite a few locations and a lot of stuff on the map and for those locations you guys may be asking what are the locations that are going to be destroyed so for you guys know that basically since season three with the meteors there has been a meme it's basically been a meme in the entire fortnite community that tilted towers is going to get destroyed and Tilted Towers is actually going to get destroyed. So that's a that's a fat rip in the chat for my boy Tilted Towers. Even jumping out to him for probably around closer to well, he came into the you know the the chat here roughly around season two, somewhere around there. And now basically we'll be exiting around season nine. So that's basically a solid almost seven seasons of being able to jump out to Tilted with Tilted having basically no gigantic changes to the whole thing of it. But what is also incredibly incredibly sad is the fact that not only is is tilted going to go but one of my other personal favorite jump spots which is going to be retail row retail row is going to get absolutely decimated with lava and rocks just going to take out so much stuff and the map is going to look incredibly incredibly different so that's another fat rip in the chat for my boy retail row so we've got retail row and tilted towers which are both massive locations which actually should be getting almost if not completely destroyed by the volcano itself will they stay destroyed Destroy, that's kind of going to remain here for something I want to talk a little bit about later in the video. Something else that is supposed to be happening here is there is actually supposed to be the polar peak. I mean, obviously, we've had the entire bottom left portion of the map covered in ice. That's been something that's been, you know, sitting there for quite a while. And some of us are probably a little bit ready to kind of get rid of all the ice on the map. Me personally, you know, it's coming up the summertime. It was cool in the winter when they all added that stuff in. But, you know, I I'm done with snow. I want something new on that portion of the map or just 
just it to go back to I want my greasy grove man I want my greasy grove and I, I've been missing it because it's basically been under a chunk of ice the entire time but there is supposed to be a gigantic thing collapsing or the whole iceberg that is actually holding up the castle basically polar peak there's actually supposed to be cracking and potentially collapsing and changing that portion of the map we don't exactly have a ton of information on that here within this video but I wanted to kind of put it out there because that is something also that Fort Tory happened to find and he's you know very very good at figuring out what is going to be happening here in the future of the season so the volcano erupts it destroys silted towers it destroys retail row and we have a bunch of stuff happening with polar peak that kind of leads us to wonder what's actually going to be happening if two of the most major spots in the entire map are essentially going to be completely destroyed because tilted towers will almost be flattened and that's one of the most highly action spots or one of the most high action spots in the entire game so i i want to see what they're going to be able to be doing but there is a bit of another theory that is happening you guys remember back to i believe what it was season six going into season seven we had the cube you know kevin the cube is floating around the area he was dropping off and all of a sudden you know when he was able to explode we got a massive in-game event where that was called the butterfly effect which did transported us into a complete alternate universe and that actually was uh, pretty interesting if i do say so myself it was a really really cool in-game event but within that event it actually changed loot lake entirely right below and so some people are saying that because you know epic games plans out stuff seasons and seasons in advance that we could be seeing a return let's say from you know kevin the cube or something of that sort just because you know he's been rumored to come back for quite a while even though personally i don't want him to come back it could be actually beneficial if they're destroying all these different spots on the map with the volcano that you know maybe potentially we go into the butterfly effect once again or a v2 of the butterfly effect and maybe a lot of the map is actually ends up being kind of reset back to let's say like an earlier season or maybe some previous changes that actually had been made that maybe epic games wants to bring back because that's one of the only things i could see them actually doing though it really kind of realistically makes sense i mean you can't exactly you know go ahead and destroy all of the map i mean because we're all the players gonna jump out to it kind of be a weird slash kind of a lame season so it has me very intrigued on whether the butterfly event would actually even happen or if we get a v2 of it and what would it actually change if it does happen and change anything at all you guys are not to let me know down in the comment section below what do you guys think about it because i do believe season nine is going to start with either a completely changed map you know just because of volcanic eruptions or that we're going to get a butterfly event v2 and it's going to remove a lot of a lot of stuff on the Fortnite map or I mean I'd love to see an entirely new map in general I think that actually be pretty awesome and potentially their butterfly event v2 would be a way to completely change the map granted I don't know how they would be able to do that mid game because that would actually be incredibly crazy but if Epic Games has been able to pull off all these different sorts of things with the in-game events in the past like the rocket the butterfly event I mean the ice king I mean all these different events I'm assuming they could definitely pull off something like this now with you know all the technology and stuff they got going on there over at Epic Games so that's gonna be about it here for today's video I want to share with you guys my opinions and also some of the stuff I found once again a huge shout out to Fort Tory over on Twitter for providing us with a lot a lot of leaks here in today's video thank you guys so much for stopping by if you guys haven't enjoyed it be sure to give me a thumbs up on it hit that subscribe button plus turn those notes comment down below for those of you guys that do those steps I'm always so keep you guys down in the comment section below with some free gift card codes that being said my name is Chuck enjoy the rest of your day hope to see you around the channel in the future but until next time just remember to look out don't be Randy and I'm out peace